Hello and welcome. Let's uh, talk about some Bitcoin. But before doing such, some other codes, including silver as well. I haven't done a silver video in a while. I'll try to get one out tomorrow and maybe a couple in the next week or so. But the message of the market with the decline has meant on the more intermediate to short long term and even long term time frames is more neutral. And in, as long as as long as it stays in these moments i'm going to be doing videos now and again even before it's until it really breaks out above uh, 25 well 25 canadian uh, 18 american convincingly then it's going to be in the neutral stage and on the downside well we've had the decline it's still got room down to that 14 level as well, and it's still, of course, neutral within the range. Bella is very much boring in that type of sense. It hasn't had much for great volatility. It's had a couple of buy areas that have approached to the downside, but it's been a long time since its high of 17,000 Satoshi. I'm buying big close to 6,500. It's not a surprise for tokens to lose 60, 65% of its value. And I think that's a good buy area. PivX, very scary sell wall. Lots of risk. A 60, 70% pullback is not out of question. Could the thing surprise, surpass a big buy to the upside? I suppose so, but it's kind of scary right now. XBY is extra bytes. I've talked a little bit about that. Congratulations to anyone who has jumped on board. It's doing well. And uh, moving on to Ripple, it's had a good move. I got out of it because the web bot has been stating long term. This thing may not be something you might want not want to hold. I have multiple tokens. I was barely exposed to it anyway, so it was easy for me to get out. And I don't miss any great moves that. Uh, are occurring. See a coin code SC. Joe in general has been talking a lot about this coin over the last few weeks. It hit a target of 175. Now the one thing I hate is when I find Fibonacci confirmation that it's going to go to a key number like that and I'm expecting it to take multiple days and weeks to occur and it happens in a couple of days and I'm unable to really accumulate many tokens. Yeah I got some gains but nothing like I could have. Users on Poloniex. When I started late February, 10,000 users. Then late March, it got up to 20,000 and they were having server problems. And recently, now such again, because it's going like 30, 35K now, people are entering into the community. This can only be bullish for the uh, community of altcoins collectively, including Bitcoin itself. And this number is probably going to keep going higher, 50,000, 60, 70, 80,000, which will keep the cumulative market of uh, Bitcoins, cryptocurrencies, probably doing very well. Let's move on now to the Bitcoin daily chart. Now that price action has risen steadily and well above this previous resistance mark, that means that that is now the long-term area where we will be looking for support. If it tops now, it could easily pierce and then test these lower marks by all means. But I don't think that it's going to fail if any move happens here. I don't think it's even going to come close to going down there in the near term. In fact, it's got a very bullish setup from how I'm looking at the last few candles. You have this nice uptrend with some sideways consolidation, but today it's breaking out of this uh, uh, downward resistance move over the 1600 number. So it looks as if it's had this nice enough correction where it's ready to spark past this resistance and make a test into the 1750 area that I've calculated on a couple of different levels. That would be its next upside target. I suppose after that, maybe the psychological 2000 number I got 26 written in here, and I think WebBot has stated around 23 or 24, there's going to be a serious resistance level where you could then have a retracement of multiple hundreds after such. 
But I think what's important to note that is that if 1750 does not get executed as any level of resistance like it's supposed to, then you'd expect to move to at least 2000 because that's really not that big of a move going from like 18 to 2. That's only 10% or, or such. So it's not that big of a move, which is why the 23 to 26 number would make more sense on any superior breaks in that uh, point of view. 18 average is always going to be a level of support and it's good to know what happens when you lift off from the band. If you look at the history of it just on this chart, there's a lift off point here, there's a lift off point here and here, there's a lift off point here, there's a lift off point in here and here and those are all the lift offs that it's had. Can you see a trend that happens on such? There's nothing wrong with using these indicators and just giving a good biasness to how well it's, it works. I use an 18 average front weighted of highs and lows. You can do the close, but the highs and lows give you that band and you're looking for the breakout above the 18 average of highs. Polar opposite is true for the 18 average of lows as you've got situations in here and here breaking down from it and well, that's about it there. However, just another indicator that I like to use. On Bittrex, you can use it. I don't know how to save my settings on there so that the indicators always stay the same, so it's kind of a nuisance. But uh, nonetheless, uh, these are your, this is your chart. No, I'm going to say these are your charts, but that's plural, and I've got singular. So anyway, thank you for tuning in. Take care.